here and the, the rain's finally stopped. Finally, <laughs> we finally got out to the bay one. Six hours later. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was a, the morning didn't go to plan there. No. It's fresh showers. Yeah, that was um, West Kerry weather at its finest. Yeah. No. <laughs> showers out and over from the Atlantic. Uh, it wasn't on the forecast at all. No, there was no app or no nothing showing no. that. The weather can do anything here, like, and I thought it's, it's our biggest challenge, really, like. Yeah. <coughs> you know, it, is a, it is a waiting game, like. Yeah. At least it's a nice part of the country, anyway. Ah, plenty of scenery. Oh, unreal. I haven't seen scenery like it there, that, yeah. that day, yesterday, when we were at my one. Yeah, like, it's, no matter what way you look, like, it's... It's different, but it's it's just all around us, like, I suppose we don't take take too much notice of it anymore yeah. either like I see yesterday <coughs> we're out mowing near the Skelligs. Yeah you were looking back at the Blasket Islands and the Skellig would have been in your background then. Yeah. So what is it you mow with then? Um, mowing with two trailed moors, a nine foot Cneverland and an eight foot coon with groupers, we group everything. So yeah. we're grouping 90% of the stuff. Um, works well for us and a lot of the farmers didn't just run through with woofers like these yeah. Bridgeway or Bellmac woofers and they're happy enough, it works for me like. Yeah, it's, I suppose it saves you another man on a rake. It does, yeah, I don't know, we're saving a tractor, a man and a rake like which, like you seen this morning, we were sitting around the yard, yeah. I had two fellas there, if I had a rake it'd be three fellas, uh -huh. I suppose, especially because we're drawing and stacking 80-90% of what we're baling so there's there's labour tied up in that side like you know, it is, yeah. is labour intensive enough like so you're, I see you've got, you have a fleet of 30 series anyway yeah we're a fan of them alright oh yeah that would be myself now uh, I suppose my first tractor was 6A30 and I just got on well with it, so I had no reason to change. And every time I was buying, it was I suppose it was a turkey day I was looking for, and yeah. I can't fault them. I say it was a real beauty run now. Yeah, this is this is the pride and joy. Yeah, <laughs> this is why every every man is learning a thirty series once. Yeah, ones. same five. Yeah, when I went looking at this, buying it, I couldn't leave it after me. It was. <laughs> Probably the nicest tractor that was in the country at the time, yeah. but especially a 75 like. I'd say it's just worth near the money you spent on her anyway. Probably, yeah. Uh, if not, probably definitely get my money back. Yeah. I bought her four and a half years ago. So she's about 4,000 hours put up with her and she'd probably make the same money again. Yeah. If not more, if yeah. If not more, yeah. It's just, things are gone funny like. Yeah. And the price of things are bad. Ah, uh, Tuesday, yeah, like you could be trading a tractor you bought two or three years ago, or four or five years ago, you get the same money. Yeah, it is great, but it's there's something not right. Like yeah. it is, to know, I suppose you're giving it on the other end, like for the yeah. new one. What baler are you running there? Uh, running a standard Fusion Three, I suppose. She's in her this is second season. Yeah. Uh, she's a camless and a thousand box, brilliant baler. Can't fault it. Loves grass. Yeah. As well, sometimes we just don't have enough of it in front of it, as as this is light kind of second cut here yeah. now at the moment. But never an issue with it. Does, does it go well with the grimmer rules? It does. Yeah. 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 I suppose in heavy enough crab, you want much more than the. the no, you wouldn't there in heavy first cut. Like you're picking 17 or 18 foot off the double blow, and you wouldn't want more. Like. Yeah. And so you're running two six six thirties on loaders then? Two six six thirties, yeah, with loaders, and we have scully elephant trunks on them. I kind of like the six sixes as well. They're just mm. they're big enough and small enough. Yeah, at the same time, <coughs> plenty power for what they're doing. The scully handlers are, are they good reveals then? Yeah, they are. Yeah, um, we have three of them. I've one of them since I started, and all has got is grease. Yeah. I don't know, I just can't fault them. Uh, they look easy on bales too. They are, yeah. Once you get used to them, like there, you you won't go back. See if you're running about well on a <coughs> bale tip. Yeah. Yeah. I used to need a bit of that, but. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, Scully trailers as well. Scully trailers, yeah, we've two of them there. 18 foot with high racks on them, so we're carrying 13 there at the time. Yes. Uh, flotation tires on two of them there, so. Easier on the ground. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of people you talk to and ask what trailers have you and you say, oh, I have 18 foot and they say, I should have they to know very small it won't work but yeah. you see where we're going around here that you wouldn't want bigger and with the higher X you're carrying as much as a trailer that's four foot longer than it like yeah I soon realize it's the size of the road right? yeah they are narrow and you're trying to turn in off them then and you're stuck <laughs> you can't go backwards or forwards yeah. and it's it ends up a bit of a scene if you're in it bigger yeah, you know, like them trailers as well, they work in every place, like there's no place you can't get in with them and if you had a bigger trailer you wouldn't be able to use it everywhere, like, yeah. yeah. you have to leave it at home. You have to leave it at home, so what good is a new trailer yeah. than a bigger, bigger or not, like. Yeah. When did you start the contract on them? Started in 2013. Um, my not so long ago. No, yeah, so this is my 10th season, kind yeah. of self-employed. Yeah. When I started, I was drawing and stacking for another contract there. Yeah. So I bought the 6A30, it was my first trap there. Bought that as a loaner on that. And I was drawing and stacking for him up until 2015 or 2016. Yeah. And in 2016, I bought a Fusion 2. And I did a few of my own jobs and I was bailing alongside your man I was working with at the time. 2017 then I made a bold decision to go completely out on my own uh -huh. and I suppose I haven't looked back it yeah. has paid off some good customers picked up over the years and we can't fault how things have gone for us really like yeah and we've yeah. gone to four tractors there now and probably it's enough so I need a bigger shed <laughs> we only built the shed a year and a half ago, we should have put on another bay or two. Yeah. It is better than nothing. Yeah. Keeps my other in. <laughs> it's not just the bailing you do then. No, we do a good bit of slurry there as well. With two tankers, we have a high spec, 2,000 gallon. And I bought a new KME two and a half with a dribble bar there made here in Kerry. All oh, right. So I thought it was a local brand. I never yeah, seen it they're before. just made there in early stole. Bought that there. So it was in January, February it came serious tanker well finished just stupid a fertilizer spreading there as well yeah have a road spreader with a crane on it you've seen it uh, there yeah, yesterday the crane, yeah is that a good tool the crane uh, serious tool yeah even with all the loaders in the yard you don't know i still wouldn't be without yeah. it like you know, it's a one-man job you can go anywhere like yeah, it um, saves you i suppose pen on one by it does job. yeah and you know you can't really charge for them as such like yeah because they're sorry just sat in there really. even if you go to someone on the farm or himself wants to load it's freeing him up as well like yeah. so he doesn't need to be hanging around and thoughts works then um, your suckler cows as well yeah about um 45 suckler cows there split between spring and autumn calving a few calving at the minute. A few calving yeah. at the minute there. There's there was two there yesterday even, so I think there's seven calf there now. All going good so far anyway, yeah. so there's plenty to keep you busy. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, you're you're strip grazing here or something, aren't you? Yeah, strip grazing there in kind of forty eight hour blocks usually. Yeah. Works well I find especially in difficult conditions your cows are only inside in that block for 48 hours so if it is wet yesterday they'll just damage that paddock yeah. Every, like everything will get damaged and recover but you'll grow a lot more grass as well like you'll see I, it there in the fences i had uh, i had the drone up over the cattle there and oh you, yeah you've seen the difference so like different it, yeah, yeah every section is a different shade like yeah lots of different shades of green yeah, like like if you leave cows into a three acre paddock they're inside there for the week or eight days or whatever like that law, that salt, none of that's growing back while they're in there. Yeah. Like if you split that up into three or four, you'll, you'll see it growing after after a day or two. Like, if you're, if you're going to change this trailer someday, what would you change it to? What would I? Yeah. And um, you had to get rid of your 75. Could I buy another one? <laughs> no. Okay. Um, what's a worthy, what's a worthy 
change. What well, would it were the I don't know from what I hear I suppose uh six one five five R. Yeah. Or probably one of the newer ones, the are they a 6180 R? Yeah. Or whatever they are, 6185? Yeah. 6R uh, or whatever. Yeah. The Those new ones are nice, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can't see that happening for a long time, so. Yeah. <laughs> They'll stick their 75. If you come back in 10 years' time, this 75 will be still here. Oh, yeah, yeah. She mightn't be bailing, but she'll be still here. Show, show pony just. <laughs> uh, Thurry series, great animal, like. They are, they're just kind of an all round, like, I just find. They're very user friendly as well. And everyone, oh, yeah, jump everything around. falls to hand. Like yeah, uh, nice and handy for you. Yeah, especially uh, someone who's never even done the fighter before. Yeah, you know, they're simple. Like, and I even find they're having to treat them the same. Yeah. Like if a PDO switch breaks and this, I can take it off one of them or do you know anything yeah. like I'm gonna rob Peter to pay Paul as such. Like, yeah. <laughs> you'll never be badly stopped. No, you won't. No, I'm no matter what saying. it is. Like even. If you wanted to keep one of the other ones going and had to park one of them just to keep another one going late. Like. Yeah. yeah, well, Karen, thanks for having me out. It's been a pleasure and looking around the scenery anyway. I've got a few days sightseeing. Yeah. <laughs> You'll come again. <laughs> oh, I might, you know. <laughs> Hard to beat the Kerry scenery now. Uh, it is. Yesterday you were blessed with I know that day was. is a bit cloudier. Yesterday was, you had it in full view yesterday. Yeah. I don't know if we could have picked a better place for it. No, it, it just worked out perfect. Yeah, it would have worked out perfect. Yeah. Well, oh, thanks again. No better, thank you. I promised I would wait for you. But I'm getting so impatient. Tell me that you're ready now. This room is big enough for two. And I wanna do that something. Something that will blow your mind. Do you know the things you do? You understand, yeah. Do you know the things you make me feel? I can show you if you take my hand. I just wanna dance, dance, dance with you. Let me take you under where nobody can see. I just wanna dance, dance, dance with you. Harder than a summer, so put your hands on me. Put your hands on me. Put your hands on me, on me, on me Put your hands on me